The elegant Carolina Inn in Chapel Hill is a university-owned hotel with old-time southern charm. Constructed in 1924, the inn features 184 guest rooms, including seven luxury suites. One of those suites was occupied by the late Dr. William Jacox, who lived in Suite 252 for nearly 20 years. In life, Dr. Jacox was known to be a friendly man with a sense of humor. His joyful spirit seems to have stayed in his beloved room. The Carolina Inn has been voted one of America's top 10 haunted hotels and has drawn paranormal researchers to take a closer look. The way that I understand is that we had a guest who used to live here who eventually passed away in the room um, and then continues to live in the room in the, what I would assume would be the paranormal world. I think we have both sides of the spectrum. We have those who absolutely want the room um, to be able to be in there and experience, and then we have those who are aware of it that don't want to be anywhere near it. I've been here two years, um, and I've never had any first-hand interaction with a guest who's, who's told me of some abnormal activity taking place in the room. Um, I, I'm sure some of the stories have been embellished over time, um, you know, through folklore, tradition or whatever they may be, but I personally have not seen anything along those lines. Um, I definitely think that there are some things in this world that happen that are unexplainable. Um, you know, I think there's weird inconsistencies. I think you know, some things just can't be explained, but as far as you know, the Hollywood version of the guy in the frayed frock who's been living here since the 14th century flying through the hallways now. I'm, I'm not uh, a big believer in that per se. Um, I took a couple was driving through from um, Chicago. They were coming down to Florida and they stopped here on the way to stay for the night and they were checking into room 252 which is our, our king suite. It's one of our nicest rooms. And so I took them up to the room, walked into the bedroom to put it on the luggage racks and all the lights went off. I, I initially thought that they just accidentally flipped the light switch, but the woman starts freaking out. And she was in the living room area, she swears she, she saw someone, a white apparition, walk across the living room and disappear. Into the room. From her reaction, it's hard for me to believe that she didn't see something. I mean, I don't know why someone would freak out like that. Mm -hmm. Two folks who weren't freaking out were Bob and Denise first-time guests visiting from Sanford. They seemed pretty unfazed by the idea, saying, That's kind of cool, as long as it doesn't bother us. 